Okay, now today's lesson is lesson number seven on uh, with our course book and the page number 142-143. So please open the book, okay. page 142 and three. This unit we're talking about identity. We're going to continue the identity, but last lessons we studied about the fable, fable one, number one, two, or three. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. So this time we're going to continue. But uh, here, page number 142, our story is about captured. So what is this about? So now here, hold on. Here. So before we're going to start, let's have a look at the word, word pools. Refuse, cliffs, throat, to hangle, or to weave. Do you know any of those words? For example, the refuse, what does that mean? Anyone? Refuse, what does it mean? Uh, I know uh, she, she to, uh, like to do not want or uh, reject. Uh -huh, reject. Okay, so what about cliffs? Do you know any word uh, called Cliffs. Um, uh, I guess it's something like like a mountain. Yes, uh, that's correct. Um, okay. What about a throat? Throat. Okay. What does it uh, mean? That thing in the, the neck. In our, oh, neck. In our throat. In the our thing neck. That it's in the neck. What do you call yeah, it in the, in the, in the science uh, language? It's in our neck. It's a fagus, the, right? but hold this yeah. neck. Yeah. Neck has this uh, throat in front of your uh, neck. Okay. What about haggle? Have yeah. you heard of it? Uh, no. uh, I know. Okay. It's about argue about the price. Uh, okay. Argue yes, about, about, about the price. price. Okay. What about to weave? Um. Okay, can you look at this, uh, the right side, uh, side of your screen? Yeah. yeah. Right side of the screen. The word refuse, can you see that? Here? Yeah. Reject. Mm -hmm. They are the synonym. Reject, turn down, decline, withhold, or rebuff. Those are the synonyms. What about mm -hmm. the cliffs? Do you know that, that as Madam Oni said, that the, it's a really it's something with the mountain. Rock is more like a big, big pieces of uh, uh, rocks. It has a, some of them flat, some of them so sharp, some of them are very edgy, edgy. We call them cliffs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Throat yeah. is the front part of the neck. Front the part neck. Of the neck. To haggle. As Marimuni said, what they said, argue about the price. For example, uh, that means we're going to bargain. Okay, I want to buy sheep. How much this cost? Oh, 1,400, oh, come on, man, it's too expensive. Why is it so expensive? How big it is? So uh, I will pay you 1,000 dinners. No, man, it's expensive. The tooth has been changed. It's, it's 100,400. Okay, let's say, okay, 1,250. Another one said, no, man, mister, I cannot. It's the, what, the last price is 1,400. They said, okay, come on, come on. Okay, at least 50 dinner, 3,350. Oh, they are bargaining persistently. That's called huggle. Yeah. Okay. To weave. Okay. Make by interlacing rods or flowers. What do you think? What do you understand from this one? It is, you know that um, uh, there's some basket. Uh, you have some basket at home. Some of yeah. the basket is for potatoes mm -hmm. or for, for food or fruits. Some of them made out of the natural material, mm -hmm. which is like... Uh, uh, but the leaves or the, the bamboo tree or the, 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 tamar, the date tree, you know, they make that kind of uh, the yeah. natural. We put them together, it's like uh, the braiding, make it with some shape, put them all together, we call it to weave. Okay, so the, mm -hmm. the glossary also yeah. we have uh, some glossary over here. A mesa mm. is a Spanish yeah. word for a high, flat plateau. What does that mean, plateau? It's plateau. Uh, how and I mean, tall, high it's mountains, right? Hill. It's yeah. Flat-topped hills. 
Above is a Spanish name for bricks dried in the sun. You know the brick. What do you call it here in Bolivia? Block, right? It's not the block. It's instead of a brick. Block and brick are a bit, bit different. Block is out of a cement and rock, but the bricks they have a different uh, mud and other uh, texture. So Anglos mm -hmm. is the is for sh short word for Anglo-Saxon, which is you know in our English language is from the Anglo-Saxon English means English people. We speak Anglo-Saxon. A hagen is a traditional Najavo house. Traditional house, we call it Najavo, uh, I mean hagen. Canyon, you know that. A canyon is a valley enclosed by steep yeah. walls. You know, the, the great canyon in America, do you remember that so long and high, the cliffs. The, 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 if you see it underneath, there will be a valley. So those are our yeah. uh, vocabularies, okay? So next page, we're going to start our story. Mm -hmm. Story capture. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going mm -hmm. to read, and then, then you're going to tell me, we're going to, to talk about the, uh, the story in each paragraph. Okay? So I'm going to start. She walked around me, gently running her hand across my back. Then she asked me to smile, and when I refused, she reached out and pushed my lips back with the with her finger with her finger on one Thank side you. i have broken two which happened when i was very young and fell against the against the stone okay so guys what can you tell about this part what is the first part about it is our first uh, uh... First, when the girl was so excited and she was running gently, and then she um, she pushed the the her teeth that one but. slips back. Is it about yeah. her teeth? This part is about her teeth. Are you sure? Is it the no? This two no. forty part of that the uh, the mouth which the the, the 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 girl pressed on her lips. So what is this part again? What is Judy? I'm Any? trying to think right. Okay. So let's go back to our another screen again. Let's think again. Okay, here. She walked around me, gently running her hand across my back. Imagine, try to imagine the action, okay? Then she asked me to smile. When I refused, she reached out and pushed my lips back with her finger. What does that mean? That means she forced her to smile, right? Holding her lips to the back side, like, you know, to make yeah. it look like a, uh, to make her look like a smiling. And on one side, mm -hmm. I have a broken tooth. She has a broken tooth, which happened when I was very young and fell against a stone. So now let's see. The, 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 this part will be a lot clearer when we move on. The woman made the sound with her tongue, but said nothing. Then she walked around me once more and left the room with the Spaniard. So, what do you think the first part was about? What was the first part about? Maybe... It's about how she was uh, active and happy and like excited. Uh huh. It was about um, how her excitement. What is how she met a lady. Who was that lady? Um. Uh, that she. Ordered to smile. Yeah. This is the basic this is the, the, the how and she made she lady, that the lady who she ordered ordered her to smile. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. What was the other part? The woman um Okay, the woman made a sound with her tongue. 
but nothing, said nothing. She walked uh, around me once more and then left the room with the banger. It's about the lady, right? Miss, what, what does Spaniard mean? A Spaniard, this means that the person yeah. who, uh, the, 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 who is uh, with her, that uh, the Spanish person who followed her. Oh, okay. It's about the lady A woman. and her A woman. leaving. Yeah. Okay. Her exist. Exit. Okay. So now, third part. The girl who had opened the gate for us and who was steering the beans said, My name is Rosita. I'm 12 years old and I come from White Mesa and in the Najava country. What is your name? Where do you come from? How old are you? Uh huh. So, what is this part about, guys? Uh, uh, this part is. Talk uh -huh. How would they talk about? How old she was. Talk about how. Where she came. Information. Met who? She introduced you herself. Rosita and her. In introduction, she introduced uh, the, the, the what is around, who she is. Yeah. Right? Okay. How she? Uh huh. So now, and then said, I told her one of my names, but not my real one. I am fifteen. I'm from Canyon de Cale. So now, here. What can you say about the first paragraph? Main idea of action. Now let's recollect our memory. First paragraph was about, as we said, meeting. Uh, she met the uh, lady. 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 Who was that lady? No. Uh, Smile. Yeah. Okay, what was the main she action? In this part, she, she was asked her to smile. Walking around her gently. Ah, she was rubbing her back and asking her to smile. Smile. Uh huh. Okay, the second part was about the ladies exist. Um, Exit. Do you have any clue who that lady could be? Exist. Exit. Who could no. that be? Who could no. that be? The lady. Okay, last part, uh, the third paragraph was mm -hmm. about what? Uh, the introduction of about the, um, meeting. the girl who opened the a new girl and yeah and their meeting right first time their first <laughs> first Meet. meeting okay very good so now let's move on to the next part uh sorry no I told her one of my names, but not my real one. I'm 15 and I come from Canandish, Chile. I never heard that of that place, Rosita said. This surprised me, for I told everyone heard about, everyone heard about, heard of the Canandish, Chile. It is most beautiful place in the world. I said, it has the most sheep and the finest wool. It has a river, tall cliffs that catch the sun and make the melons grow bigger than pumpkin. They are, there. the corn stalks yeah, grow taller than you are. Okay. And next part. I wanted to tell her more about Canyon de Chile, but my throat filled up with sadness. 
So what is this part about? What is our third part about? Um, uh, this part, uh, this part was talking about uh, how she introduced the place ah, where she comes she in from. Her and uh, she in introduced her. No, no, her introduction to her and about her background. Is that? Yeah. What was this background? Yeah. What was the name of the background? Her, uh, the background in the place. <coughs> hmm? Canyon. Uh, Canyon de Kili. Canyon de Kili. Chili. Okay. This is the background of her, right? And then. Yeah. And the rest to put a bowl of beans and chili on the table beside me where I could reach. So you will be reach. here, she said. The lady is kind and her husband also. He's a soldier and doesn't come here often, mostly on the feast days. There is a good food to eat and the work is not hard. It will be nicer when you are in the house. The other girl I don't like, she is Zunis. So, Again, okay. what is this part about, guys? What is that this part about? Uh, about the family and uh, how and the place, how she will feel. Rosita, what did she do? She described the life of, uh, of the family. Ah, describes the life. Uh, uh, life in in that new place. What was that new place? How did you describe? What was the description part? The lady uh, you will be is happy. kind. Kind. And her and husband. Oh, her so. husband. What else? There is a he is a uh, soldier. General. He is a soldier. Soldier. And there is a good food to eat and ah, to you are. that is the main part of the describing, right? Good food mm -hmm. to eat, food to eat, and work is work is not hard. It is not hard here. And also, what did she say? She doesn't like uh, 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 the other girl. She's a, ah, she yeah. is Sunni. But this one, is it, do you think is it main idea of this paragraph or is it just extra information? I think uh, extra information. Uh -huh. This just give extra information to enrich the, the story. Otherwise, is it about the main idea? No, right? No. Yeah. Okay. No. So now, let's go to our main screen again. So here, the last part here. So now, before we go to the last page, what is in your imagination about story? What do you think what is going on? Who are those girls? So now you're going to tell me about your imagination before we end the story, okay? So girls, tell me your ideas. I'm going to type it down. So what is your imagination about the story? What are you thinking of when you read? We haven't reached that yet. The lady, the girls, a new place. What's going on? Uh, um, uh, like I think the the girl when she uh, she, when she did, uh, she refused to smile. I I think she was sad from something, okay. and then uh, uh, the, the girl uh, is she said like he, uh, I wanted to. Uh, hold on, sorry, my screen is. Up and down. Sad. Okay, hold on. And here. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. You said the girl is the girl is sad somehow, right? Okay. Girls, jury, what is? What do you think? What else? Uh, 
What's going on? What do you think? What do you? Th you feel mysterious, right? Yeah. 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 You feel mysterious. So, what do you think? What comes to your mind when you think about? You are just puzzled with a lot of mystery. And what are you imagining about the story? What's going on? What is your imagination about? What's going on? Okay. Like when I read um, the story, it, it was okay. But when it came to, I wanted to tell her uh, more about Kenny and Kelly, but the, my truth filled up with sadness. Uh, like I felt like more mysterious because why her truth filled with sadness? Where is she from? Why is she in that place? Who are those yeah. people? Why is she talking about the food is good, work is not hard, and introducing mm -hmm. the, the, the lady's kind, her husband? What's going on? What do you think? And why uh, she doesn't like the, girl, the other girl? Yes, exactly. At the same time, where is she from? Where did she come from? Where, uh, well, now, where did he come to? Yeah. Did she get lost? Um, uh, has she been captured or arrested or has she been sold? Or? I think that they are around in South America. They are about, they are about America. Okay, America. And what else? Okay, they are in America. Um, what about the girl? Uh, which girl? The girl is it is the, no, the other girl. She said who didn't tell her name. She said like she told one of uh, her name, but not the real one. What do you think? What do you yeah. think? Who uh, you think? I, I think uh, like she did, or maybe uh, even she stole somebody's house and there uh, she's wanted or something like this. Ah. Uh? Okay, guys. So, this is the real question that I need to ask from you, okay? Focus on this question, what's going on? And then, now, here. End of our story is here. Uh, and here, what you're going to do? You're going to read the story uh, continuously, okay? Here, from the next room, I heard the sound of a woman and a Spaniard talking. They talked like Anglos who came to our canyon and haggle of the price of wool. Rosita listened to them for a moment. The, the senora paid little for me, she said, but for you, she would pay more. You are pretty and tall. I wish you were my sister. After a long time, a Spaniard left. He was crying and let, uh, he was carrying a leather pouch. I was filled with the coins that jingled. I told you. Rosetta said, the push is twice as full as it was for me. The women came and led me out of the kitchen. My black dog was waiting for me. We went along a path to a smaller house far in the back. Far in the back. In, we had, had white blue door in, and inside was a room bigger than our hogan and home. Where all my family lived in cooking, waving rags and sleeping. The floor wasn't made of common earth like ours, but off above mixed with the blood. It was smooth, dark, and on it were two Najawa blankets. You sleep here, the woman told me, pointing to a big bed. You spoke to me in Najawa. Her words had a strange sound, but I understood them. She opened the doors of an empty cupboard. For clothes, she said, tomorrow I'll buy you shoes, dresses, and some ribbons for your hair. Okay. This is the story of the ending. Now, you have to uh, brainstorm your mind, as uh, we have talked earlier, and then you have to answer this. Uh, looking closely, which is simply, this is the end of our story, but more than that, I want you to summary the story of the based on comprehension. You see that comprehension on the page number 143. Page 143. Yeah. Yes. Page 
143, you're going to write a summary of the story, right? A summary, a summary of the story, okay? This is your... Uh, and, and solve the looking closely in the Looking closely, right? uh -huh, we're going to solve it. And uh, more than that, you have to focus on a previous lesson, which, a previous pages here. Uh, here, what is your imagination about the story? What do you think of, what do you think what is going on? And who are those girls? We didn't know who are they, what's going on. Somehow there's some, one talked about the price, somehow the lady, she offered a blanket and bed, and that the other girl, she said the food is good, and the uh, food is good, and your, uh, 